here called two rabbits hopping down the road, the fast and the furious. Some people say rabbit feet's good luck, but I don't think this rabbit would agree with that. Now guys, I ain't never claimed to be the best rabbit skinner or the fastest rabbit skinner. But right here is my favorite part of a rabbit. That's frying them livers. Now some people say that a rabbit's foot's good luck. But I bet if you ask this rabbit that today, he'd say they wasn't very much luck at all for him. Wash this rabbit up. We're gonna get some seasoning, and we finna season her up. Put her on the smoker. Guys, we gonna guys, we gonna take this rabbit here, and I got some olive oil right here. And I'm gonna just coat him with this olive oil real good. I got some seasoning mixed up here. We're going to rub him down good with this seasoning. And we're going to put him on that smoke. Now about every 20 minutes, I'm going to take some melted butter. Probably put a little bit of apple juice in it. And I'll mop this rabbit. Just try to keep him from drying out. And I ain't gonna lie to you folks. This will be the first smoked rabbit I've ever eaten. But I wanted to try something different today. And that seasoning there has got some chopped green onions and Celery and garlic and I don't know what all. Because the other seasoning was some Cajun seasoning and then I mix some more stuff with it. So let's take this right there and put him on the smoke. Oh, yeah, we're still getting some smoke. I always start mine up and let it get that big heavy smoke out of the way first because I don't want to just taste smoke, but I'm using pecan chips. We're going to lay 
Cody right there nicely up on there. First time we coat him, we'll turn him over. And we're going to just let him cook. But like I said, guys, I ain't never eat a smoked rabbit. And I had a couple of rabbits that was needing processed today. And I thought, well, I'm going to just smoke one today and bring the guys along with me. Let me go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Guys, it's been about 20 minutes and it's running about 215 degrees. We finna pull this rabbit out and what I got here, I got some melted butter, some pineapple juice and just a little splash of apple cider vinegar and then I put some more of my seasoning in there just so when I mop it, the rabbit will keep getting more seasoning. Mop this on here and flip this rabbit over. And we're going to do this several times for the next couple of hours. Might take three hours. I'll check it with the temperature gauge before I say it's done. I'll tell you that. got a good smoked rabbit recipe, put it down there in the comments for me. I ain't never eat a smoked rabbit. I seen on them different videos to Jamaican, different countries they call it jerk rabbit. This might be so good, this may be Papa's new jerk rabbit. Up. I'll set this over here in the ice box. Hey guys, this smoked jerk rabbit's been cooking for about two hours, no, about two and a half hours, two hours and forty-five minutes. We're gonna get it out and see what it tastes like. my rag so I won't burn my hand right here. Oh boy. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About every 25 minutes, 30 minutes. I didn't put a timer on it. I'd come over here and mop some more of that juice on it. Let's take your rabbit over to the table and see what Papa's smoked jerk rabbit tastes like. Oh boy, I can tell you one thing, it smells good. Now I started to lay this on a chopping board and do like them Jamaicans do and take my hatchet and just cut it in pieces. But I ain't gonna do that. Look how easy that pulled into. I'm gonna eat right down this backbone here because that's the best part of the rabbit. Guys, look how tender that is. You two friends, I wish y'all was here to taste that. Mr. Bill? Well, there's two of you. Mr. Bill, Mr. Billy, and Miss Stacy. Guys, that's three of my die-hard viewers. Wish y'all had a bite of this along with the rest of you. Mm, mm, mm. Now just like with any meat, I don't know what it is, even fried chicken. I like to have a little ketchup and there's a gourmet Panola hot sauce. I like putting just a little bit of it with my ketchup, mixing it up. That's what I need right now to go with this. 
my little contraption mix I mixed up with that seasoning we already had. I like this. But I ain't gonna just eat down the backbone here on the tender part. I'm gonna pull off this leg and see how tender it come out. Look at there, guys. I all smoked jerk rabbit. If I got any Jamaican viewers out there that does jerk rabbit, y'all tell me in my comments why y'all call this jerk rabbit. Is it cause you just jerk it off the bone when you're eating it or? I don't really care why y'all call it that, but I'm gonna call this Papa's Jerk Rabbit. What do y'all think? <laughs> but but I was watching some videos. Most of them was in Jamaica on Jerk Rabbit. I'm like, well, I ain't never smoked no rabbit. I'm gonna do one. I can tell y'all be doing more of them from now on. Guys, yeah, was less than four hours ago, this rabbit was out there in the pen. That's what's nice about raising your rabbits and your chickens and your quail. Get ready for mess fresh meat, just go get you one. I heard a, I read a joke the other day about where rabbits work. Y'all know where rabbits work? At the eye hop. Well, YouTube friends, if any of you out there has got a, another type of recipe for rabbit cooking, I'd pop over to try. Put it down there in the comments and let me know. If you haven't never subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down there. It don't cost you a thing. Give me a thumbs up and share my videos with your friends and neighbors and loved ones. I really appreciate it. That'll really help me get my viewer count up. And guys, I hope y'all have a great day and a blessed week. God bless. See y'all next time. Jerk rabbit. You don't need a fork to eat jerk rabbit. You just jerk it off the bone and eat it.